I know you guys are wondering what's going on. And yes, this is not the start of the video. You have kind of caught me in the middle. Just to say that, do not spoil the engagement of my videos and watch it to the end. All right, so now I'll send you to the start. Hello. So a guy without a plan is back. So just like my previous video, I'm again on my bike, heading to the Bahnhof, which is German, for train station to catch my train to Bremen. Now, in case you're wondering why Bremen, that all you need to know right now is that this place will blow your mind with its beautiful architecture and 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 a museum that is not artsy, and that's why I am looking forward to visit it. But all that on the other side of the intro, so don't go anywhere yet. Finally, the moment everyone has been waiting for. So after converting an hour and a half journey into two hours because I missed my train, I finally arrived in Bremen. But I'm a bit disappointed. As you can see, the weather really gloomy. But as the show must always go on, it's time that I talk a bit about this city. So in the medieval times, it was the Wasser River that brought Europe to Bremen's door. And the city grew in stature as free Hanseatic city from the 12th century. Sea trade has always been Bremen's blood. And from the 17th century, exotic products like coffee started arriving. Germany's first ever coffee house was opened in Bremen in the 17th century while the Bremen based coffee merchant Ludwig Roselius was the man who invented decaf coffee at the start of the 1900s. In the 20s, Roselius gave Bremen the Bocherstrasse, a whole street of brick expressionist houses and workshops, all still intact. Bremen has also quaint maritime neighborhoods, museums of all descriptions on its culture mile, and UNESCO listed medieval and Renaissance monuments at the Central Market Square. And with that, it's time to start exploring. So before you guys get mad at me for always showing churches, let me tell you something. In Germany alone, there are over a thousand churches. And when they are that beautiful, it kind of just makes it difficult to miss. And that's why I'm here at the Bremen Cathedral. And before I say anything more, let me head inside and then you'll hear me talking again. So the cathedral is 1200 years old and considering that, it's unsurprising that the building is a mishap of styles. The Romanesque, Gothic and bits of later Gothic revival sprinkled in the following restorations in the 19th century. The cathedral pair of 89 meter tall towers break the Bremen skyline. The crypt meanwhile is the oldest portion of the church and goes back to the 11th century. So I've just come out of the church and few things I noticed about this place was like it is kind of very big, has like I think two or three mouth organs and also inside the painting that has been done is very nice and intricate. There are plenty of sculptures to look at and I like the red color they have used inside along with some blues. It kind of makes the place very vibrant even though it has just yellow lighting in inside which I'm not a fan of. But that's what you get when you're here in Europe. And with that, I don't have to walk much far because my next stop is near only. So I told you that I'm going to the city hall and the city hall is the building that you see behind me. And it got its World Heritage uh, status in 2005 from UNESCO. And it is definitely because of the sculptures and on the facade basically that you see here. What began as a Gothic hall in the 15th century was given an executive renaissance makeover 200 years later when the rich reliefs and the statues were carved. Now, generally, there are some city tours available from the city hall. So the church and the city hall that I showed you till now, they're all situated in the market plots. But that's not it when it comes to this place. So just on the other end of the market plot is the Bocchestrasse, a 100-meter street that was rescued from dilapidation and transformed by architectural project during the 1920s. Ludwig Roselius, the person about whom I've talked plenty in the intro, he was the mind behind this architectural project and he hired the expressionist artist Bernhard Hoytker to oversee the work. This courtyard is in brick expressionism style and is a mix of art, making it a must visit when here in Bremen. Maybe Berhard Potkus 
most beautiful contribution to Bochester say are the wooden panels that retain in time to the carillon at the Hoste Glocken speeds. If you are in Bremen during the spring or summer, try to time your visits just before the stroke of an hour between 12 and 6 o'clock in the evening. During this time, these 30 bells made from missin, porcelain and set between the house gables play the tunes of old sea shanties and folk songs. It was absolutely brilliant and I think it kind of paid homage to those people who came exploring this city. Like Columbus was there, the only one I could like really recognize. Plenty of things associated with the sea. People who, I don't know, came through the sea to the city of Bremen, something like that. So do not miss it if you ever come to Bremen. And with that, I am heading to a beautiful quarter here in Bremen. So the oldest and the quaintest neighborhood in Bremen is basically a net of lanes in this Knur Valley. So let's check it out. In the past, it was Bremen's poorest area and was where Bremen's fishing community resided. The maritime theme survives in the name Knur as it refers to the workshop where the rigging was manufactured for the ships. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, but what I know for sure is that the beauty of this locality is something to marvel upon. Bremen might not be surrounded by sea like many other cities in the north of Germany they are but there is a river which passes right to the center. This place has been allowing people to bathe in the sun during summers or at the Christmas recreate the atmosphere of the medieval Bremen guilds while fragrance of baked bread and smoked mackerel fills the air. All in all a place to have a stroll in order to admire the stroll of Bremen. So there is something I want to share as I'm heading to the last stop for today. Uh, so if you're a coffee lover or a beer lover, then you should try and visit two things. First being the Ludwig Roselius Museum and the second being the distillery from Becks. And those who do not know anything about Beck, then let me tell you one thing that every minute 3000 bottles of this brand are opened around the world. So it's pretty big and if you go for the tour in this uh, distillery then you can basically have the tasting at the end of the tour as well. And with that I have arrived at my last stop for today which is the Universum Museum here in Bremen. So this is the Universum I was talking about right behind me and it is an interactive science center which you can see it's inside a metallic futuristic building which looks like muscle shell to me. Yeah. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I've already got the ticket so I'm just gonna enter and hopefully there's something that gets my money worth and rest it would be from inside. I forgot to tell you a few things. First of all that Universum it is not like really near the city center it will be a bit far off for you if you want to come here but I don't know if you are into technology I guess it would be worth that. Secondly it's inside so I have to wear a mask so please bear with me and with my ugly looking mask because there's no branding on this thing because you haven't subscribed subscribe what are you doing man or girls for that matter yeah gender equal so this museum has three main zones nature humans and technology filled with intelligently designed games models and displays to make complicated concepts more digestible so I'm waiting in line to go and experience earthquakes I think there are three different uh, Richter scales Probably, uh, you can see the photos of those earthquakes. Okay, so there are three places, San Francisco, Abstard and Izmit. 1906, San Francisco. Ah. Honestly speaking, I really wanted a place to sit. <laughs> I'm so tired walking whole day and then with the earthquake it was more like a massage. And now I'm gonna head back to the city because I have to catch my train back home. But whilst I do that, you guys, if you don't mind, do not leave without liking this video. And do you hear the song? Hi guys! So that's it for this fun guys uh, and I'll see you in the next one.
ਖੋਲਣੀ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਨਾ ਕਰ ਮੇਰਾ ਉਹ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਨਾ ਕਰ ਮੇਰਾ ਸਕੈਜੂਅਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਯਾਰ ਦਾ ਰੂਪ ਨਹੀਂ